Good morning. Welcome to the children's story time. I want to invite children of all ages to come and join me as we learn today that wanting God's will is part of prayer. Wanting God's will is part of prayer. That means that we want what God wants even more than we want what we want. And we're going to look in children's church again at the part of the Lord's prayer that Jesus taught. And the part we're going to look at today is may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I have a question for you. Is there ever been a time that your family disagreed on how to spend time together? Like if you had uh, an afternoon to spend together, do you all agree on what to do with that, that time? If you do, that's awesome. In our family, we don't always agree or see eye to eye. Some in our family might want to go for a bike ride. Some in our family might want to watch a movie. Some in our family might want to play outside. Some in our family might want to play inside with our new kitten. That might be most of our family actually, but, um, but we don't always agree on the same things to want, right? We want different things. And sometimes we want something and God might want something else or something different for us. And that can be um, a little bit hard sometimes. Imagine that you have a birthday coming up. What would you want for your birthday? In a video in Sunday school this morning, we watched about a little boy who, whose birthday was coming up and he prayed and asked God for a new video game system. But he also said, this is what I want God, but may your will be done. And for his birthday, what did he get? He got a baseball mitt, not what he wanted. Then Christmas was coming up and he prayed and he asked God for the newer version of the video game system that he wanted. And he said, but may your will be done, God. And what did he get for Christmas? A baseball and a bat. He was a little disappointed because he didn't get what he wanted. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten a present that you didn't want or you didn't get what you did want? Yeah, that can be frustrating or disappointing sometimes. But in the video this morning, the little boy heard someone outside playing and he looked out his window and he saw someone with a baseball and a glove tossing a ball around. And he went outside and started talking to the other little boy and they struck up a conversation and then they started to play together. So even though he didn't get the gaming system that he wanted, he actually got something even better. He got a new friend. Isn't that very cool? Sometimes we want things and God wants something even better for us. And we don't always see it. So we have to ask for God's will to be done. And so let's do that right now. We're going to pray. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to, to say to God something you want. And God wants to hear from us. He, he enjoys us telling him what we want. But we're also then going to say, may your will be done. May your will be done, God. So we're going to pray together. I'm going to leave a moment for you to say out loud or in your head what you want. And then together we're going to say, may your will be done. Ready? Okay, let's pray. Open and close, open and close, give your hands a clap. Open and close, open and close, fold them in your lap. Dear God, thank you that you are so amazing and we can talk to you about anything. God, 
Today, I want to ask you for something. I really want But may your will be done because you know better and you have a bigger idea of what is good than I do. So thank you for loving me and help us to love you too. In Jesus' name we pray and all of God's children said, amen. All right, I love you and I will see you in Children's Church. Bye.